He once said, so all I did was take my hand and put it over the weapon, pull the trigger back so it wouldn't fire, and wrestled it out of his hand and into my pocket. Roosevelt Greer was born July 14th, 1932 in Cuthbert, Georgia. He is an American actor, singer, minister, and professional football player. He had a love for singing and instruments and for over 25 years recorded on various labels. But he also played a key point in the history because he also worked as a bodyguard for Senator Robert F. Kennedy during Kennedy's presidential campaign. On June 5th, 1968 in Los Angeles at the Ambassador Hotel, Greer was guarding Ethel Kennedy when Senator Kennedy was shot. Unable to prevent the assassination, Greer took control of the gun and subdued the shooter, Sirhan Sirhan. This scene takes place weeks later. Rosie talks with friend, Olympic medalist, Rayford Johnson. With Greer, writer, George Plimpton, Rayford Johnson was also there that fateful night. I keep wondering if we could have stopped him but it happened so fast. Senator Kennedy had just shaken hands with that busboy Juan Romero, and then it happened. After you and I wrestled Sir Hunt to the ground, I kept thinking, my point was to hold him. I put him on the table and wrapped his leg so he couldn't kick. Do you remember? There was this guy standing next to me and George Plinton was struggling to get the gun out of his hand. So I put my hand over the weapon and pulled the trigger back so it wouldn't fire. I wrestled it out of his hand into my pocket. At that point, people were trying to attack Sir Hunt, so I fought them off. <clears throat> the guy next to me was trying to twist Sir Hunt's leg, so I kicked the guy. When they realized I was fighting against them, they stood back. Then I handed the gun to you, Rafer. We did everything we could. I keep seeing that busboy crate in Senator Kennedy's head. He had a rosary and placed it in Senator Kennedy's hand. I still hear the senator asking Juan, is everything okay? And Juan answered, everybody is okay. Kennedy turned away and he said, everything's gonna be okay. But everything wasn't okay. Senator Kennedy died 26 hours later. Rosie Greer recorded a tribute to Robert Kennedy, People Make the World. In addition to acting, Rosie Greer became an ordained minister in 1983 and traveled the world as an inspirational speaker. He also founded American Neighborhood Enterprises a nonprofit organization that serves inner city youth. Meanwhile, a man of many interests, he also wrote a book called Needle Point for Men, a hobby he picked up while out at craft stores. <laughs> he maintained a lifelong friendship with Rayford Johnson until Mr. Johnson died at the age of 86. Today, Rosie Greer is 90 years old and resides in Santa Monica, California. <laughs>